Hi, today we will be exploring Google Voice. Google Voice allows you to easily communicate with students and parents without sharing your personal phone number. A Google Voice number is free and forwards calls, texts, and voicemails to your personal phone for an easy way to stay in touch. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the process of setting up and using a Google Voice account. All right, let's get started with Google Voice. First, you're going to go to Google Voice by entering the URL voice.google.com and that will take you to the site. Then you have a couple of options of how to set up your account. You can either do the for personal use or the for business. We will choose the for personal use because we're going to be using our personal Google account to set up Google Voice. When you tap on for personal use, you're going to get a drop down of different options of the different platforms that are supported by Google Voice. So what you want to do here is choose the appropriate one for your device. For me, in this tutorial, I'm going to use the web option. The next thing it wants you to do is choose a number. You're going to choose a Google Voice number by either city or area code. And they also give you some nearby cities that you can tap on and choose a number from there as well. I find it easiest to choose by area code. So you pop your area code in there and then it will generate some numbers. You find the number you like, you select that number, and that is your new number. So I select this number. The next step is to verify. This is how you claim that number. So what you will do here is enter your, the next step is to enter your personal phone number that you want your Google Voice calls forwarded to. You will receive a six digit verification code that you will enter and then your account is set up. Now, once your account is set up, you will now have your Google Voice dashboard. This is where you can add contacts and you can also make calls from the screen. So if we go over here to our left, this is where we'll see all the different options. So when you have calls, if I have, that's the one, the first icon is the one we tap on for calls. You can enter the name and the number of the person you want to reach out to and make the call from your computer screen. The next one, is for sending text messages and receiving text messages. You can also tap here for voicemails and it does a really good job of transcribing all voicemails that are received to your Google Voice number. And then you also have the option of archiving any of your messages just in case you need to go back and review them at a later date. Another option you have for personalizing your Google Voice account is to tap into your settings. So if we go up here to our top right and tap on our settings icon, in our settings, this is where you can find your Google Voice number. You can also determine if there are any other devices that you want to add to your account or if there are other numbers that you want linked to this account. So if you don't want, if you want to have your Google Voice account forwarded to more than one phone number, you have the options here. All the way over here to your left, these are other um, options you have for personalizing your account all the way to your greeting for your voicemails. So once you've got all this done, now your Google Voice account is set up and you're ready to share your number with students and parents for easy communication. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode.